Hey guys, how's it going? Preparing here. So today I want to talk about the value of gems in Path of Exile because it is something that has some kind of setup system where people can estimate values and it's very important to kind of know what you're dealing with uh, when you have these gems because they can drop very early in the game. For instance, you know, the most valuable gem that I have is a 20 quality freezing pulse. Now when you get a gem, uh, typically you're getting it as a quest reward, um, you know, on a new character. And if you like making a lot of characters, my main tip is uh, once you kind of understand how gems work, to pick the more valuable gem and trade for the one that you actually want. But in any case, the more relevant part that I want to talk about today is the quality bonus of the gem. So this freezing pulse has 20 quality, and you could actually get this gem, I believe, from killing Hillock on a new character. Uh, not at level 19, but of course level 1. So the drop gems can have a random quality bonus, and this random quality bonus varies between 5 and 20%. I don't know if the distribution is even, I doubt that it is, because more often than not I find like a 7% and I've never once found a 20%. I think the highest I've ever found is an 18. So with that in mind, how do you increase the quality of a gem? You do it through uh, a gem cutter's prism, which is you know, largely known as a GCP, gem cutter's prism. So with that item, that item when you have a gem that's say 13 quality like my added lightning, I could use the gem cutter's prism on this gem to increase the quality by one and thus giving it additional bonuses to the gem and to a maximum of 20, of course. So if I wanted, I could make this gem 20% by using seven GCPs on it. Similarly, you know, if I had a gem without quality, let's say purity, although purity with quality is useless, let's say it wasn't, if I wanted to make this a 20 quality gem from the base, I would have to use 20 GCPs. And obviously, um, well, maybe not so, but the case is that it's typically uh, not worth it to do that. Uh, what most people do, myself included, is when I make a new character, I kind of have some kind of idea of what gems I want on that character, and I try to get some quality gems for the character before I start it. Obviously, this is not possible in races, but it is possible in a permanent league like the one in which I'm playing right now. So when I made this character, I tried to get the highest quality of freeze pulse I could find, which at the time was a 16%, and then I used four GCPs on it because the quality bonus for freeze pulse is 3% projectile speed per quality point, which is an incredibly powerful secondary bonus. So that's what really determines the value. There is a supply-demand thing. A lot of people use Freeze Pulse, so Freeze Pulse is more valuable than other gems. And the quality bonus is very good. So how do you estimate the values of gems? Well, there are some gems that are just simply very rare because they don't come from quests, like the Chain Gem. The Chain Gem is very useful because of how powerful uh, Chain Lightning Arrow is and how a lot of other specs uh, use this gem. It's a fairly rare gem because it only drops. And uh, because of those two factors, and the fact that a lot of people who use chain gem end up dying, um, this is a very valuable gem on hardcore. And this typically goes for about one exalted. The quality bonus on chain is actually very crappy. It's 1% projectile speed uh, per 1% quality on chain. So some people may have this you know, twisted mindset that quality on chain is actually a really good thing, where in fact it really doesn't matter. Uh, pretty much all builds except EK uh, would actually lose efficiency from a quality chain in my opinion. So there are some cases where it's not worth it, but the base of the gem is so valuable that it kind of puts this, you know, mystical aura. It's, oh my god, it's a quality chain, you know? Well, it is what it is. But in most cases, you're going to find gems like these. A gem that's not used by pretty much anyone, remote mine with quality in, in the lows, you know, single digits. Uh, typically, the rule of thumb is for the normal gem, not this one of course, uh, one GCP would be around 5% quality, but because the, de the demand for low quality gems, like a 7% is a low, that drives down the price. So if you have a 5% gem, it's not going to be worth one GCP. But if you have like a 7 and it's good, like maybe Freeze Pulse, you can probably get at least one GCP for that. Or if it's, you know, moderately good, um, maybe like Life Leech or, you know, added lightning damage, maybe one GCP, if it was like six, seven percent. And if it was about 10, so if you had, you know, nine, 10, 11, something like that, it'd be worth approximately two GCPs. And if it was 15, maybe 14 or so, it'd be worth three GCPs. 
and every percentage from then on would be worth one GCP. So my freeze pulse is probably a little bit more inflated. Uh, a 15 quality freeze pulse is probably four GCPs because of the popularity of the gem as well as the quality being amazing. So with those two factors, it's probably about four GCPs as a base. And because it has five additional quality over the uh, 15 that I mentioned, uh, it's about you know, nine GCPs. So it's approximately two exalted orbs uh, of value. It's a very, very valuable gem. And with this system, you can kind of gauge the stuff that you find in the game. Um, if you find something like added lightning damage, um, you know, you kind of consider it's like, oh, it's 13. It's kind of between 10 and 15. Which one is it closer to? Is it a, a popular gem? Uh, it's reasonably popular. It's, you know, maybe on the mediocre side. Is it a really good bonus? Yes, it's an insane bonus. So it's probably a little bit above average. So this would be, you know, probably three GCPs as a result. So that's what you can do. You can use the system uh, for Iron Will. You know, Iron Will is very popular, but the quality bonus is eh, pretty mild. People that tend to use Iron Will have an insane strength bonus typically. So, you know, this one is a little bit more averaged out. Uh, you can probably get about two GCPs for this one. That's kind of how the quality side works. As for the non-quality gems, uh, like I said, most of these are going to come from quests. Some of these have very good value, like reduced mana, because a lot of characters don't get them and uh, they're very useful for the characters that don't get them, or the classes, I should say. So Reduced Man is a very valuable gem because the demand is very high compared to the supply. And, um, you know, for Reduced Man, you can get, like, two Chaos, you know, three Chaos if you're lucky. And similarly, like, faster projectiles sometimes can be hard to get. Uh, things like uh, lesser multiple projectiles, but I don't think I have any of those. And uh, the last would be, like, Auras. Um, a lot of uh, builds don't get all the auras that they need. So, you know, for instance, uh, when you know when I'm leveling a character, I'm picking up these reduced mana gems. I'm picking up the aura gems, and I'm gonna try my best to trade uh, these gems because they're higher value than the gem I actually need. So, for instance, if I needed um, these things, probably never line up. But let's say I needed uh, ground slam. You know, would I pick ground slam over vitality? Never. You know. In one case, I could just sell the Vitality and buy a Ground Slam, but in all reality, I'd just, you know, make a new Marauder and kill Hillock and get Ground Slam that way. So, it's a good idea to know these mechanics, uh, at least with gems, you can kind of understand what's going on in the market and how to value the gems that you do have and the gems that you do want to sell. So you don't get ripped off because uh, chances are there's someone looking for the gem you have and it's just a matter of, uh, you know, counting the person to sell. So very good idea to be informed before you do that. So I hope you guys learned something about the gems today in terms of uh, what they're valued and kind of uh, what you should be doing to get them. And uh, hopefully you guys, uh, you know, end up getting some good deals uh, as a result. I'll see you guys tomorrow.